I saw what went on on Reg the Bad Guys panel Friday. Arthur Clark over there on some major attention horn, which is one of the things that turns people into your peer group. Arthur needed a place to vent and Reg had what Arthur needed, a panel where Arthur could air out whatever he was feeling. And a week or two ago, I talked about peers. Who are your peers? Why are they your peers? And especially how they become our peers. One of the elements, or maybe even the main element in having a group of peers in how they become your peers is that you need them. You need them for one reason or another because if the need wasn't there, it would, be pro it would probably be impossible for a group to become peers of yours or mine. Like take Pastor J. Wilson and ZX. Two that been at it for, they've been at it on and off for a year or so. Might even be a full two years at this point. And I'll be hearing this question from the sectors and this question will go from one to the other. It'll be exchanging. Question to be aimed at Pastor, then the question to get aimed at ZX. Same question though. The different people have asked Pastor, why do you keep letting ZX on your panel? He helped you get fired and he hates gays. So why you keep letting him up there? Same question to ZX. ZX, why you keep going over there? Why you keep letting Pastor on your panel? It'd be the same question, but the answer is simple. It's because they need each other. Interaction equals to currency on here. And by currency, I'm not just talking about money. Currency to someone else could be anything. Some people's currency is the excitement that they get out of hearing how pissed off you are at them or how mad they made you. They don't want no money. But anyway, there are people who have truly convinced themselves that they have to be in the places that they say that they hate. This place that they say is beneath them. That place that they say is full of degenerates and miscreants. But they won't leave it. They won't leave. The people who say that the people they're talking about are beneath them. Needs those same people though. They need them. That's why they can't seem to find themselves somewhere else to be on here. They can't find themselves nowhere else to be on here. On the world wide web where you can be in... In, in, in uh, 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 Dubai if you want to You could be anywhere on here And around whoever you want to be around And yet they keep finding themselves In a place that they say that they're better than And around people who they believe Are beneath them They need these people that they call low lives They need them to socialize with And they need them to help grow their channels Or like in sports Like boxing where you are nothing Until you beat the champ you need the champ to make yourself a name. That's why they keep going around these people to try to beat them. Out talk them, beat up on their positions in order to feel accomplished. But I'm saying that they can't be much better than them if they need them to establish themselves. Or you could be better than them if you were to beat them, but there's been no defeating or dethroning going on around here. The people that they see as less than still holds the title belts. So the question that needs to be asked is, why are they trying to match which with someone who they believe is dumb? Why not, you know, because, you know what I'm saying, why not match which with uh, who they say is on their perceived level? Commonality and mutual interest are what makes people peers. Because why do they seek interaction with people that they view as less than? Why do they need less thans to help them grow their presence on the internet? And why do they even seek to be acknowledged by who they call low lives? What do you want that for? Why are they trying to compete where they think they don't compare? And how do these people, how did these people become their peers?